So previously, we talked about the differences between the programmatic and traditional media buying model. And if you haven't watched that video, I'll link it down below. Today, we're going to take it a step further and talk about the technicalities behind the programmatic ecosystem. So in both models, we'll start off with a container on the publisher's website. And now specific to the traditional media buying model, the source of this container will be an ad server that operates directly under the publisher. And this ad server will then fill the container with whatever ad that was contracted between the publisher and advertiser. On the other hand, for programmatic media buying, whenever a user has visited the publisher's website and the page is loading, the container would send an ad request to something called the ad exchange. The ad exchange essentially is something like a stock exchange dealing with the buying and selling of ads. And the ad exchange will then send a bid request to the DSPs or demand side platform and eventually the highest bidder wins and their ads are shown to the user. And now that we understand how the demand side of things work, let's break down the ad request process further. So on the other end of the DSP exists the SSP, also known as the supply side platform. This is where publishers can sell their inventory programmatically. So whenever a user has visited the publisher's website, the sites automatically send the supply availability to the SSP, which will then send the ad request to the ad exchange. So now that we know this, we can take it a step further. And on top of all this exists another layer called the data management platform. This is a platform that collects and organizes audience data, and this layer exists throughout the ecosystem. It tells us information about the site visitor, which will then help the buyer or trader decide whether to bid on that specific site visitor. And now, the final layer, the app verification partners. These are companies that verify on the quality of inventory transacted to ensure that they are fraud-free, viewable, and brand-safe. And there we have it, the overview of the programmatic ecosystem. I hope that my explanation has helped make things clearer for you. And moving forward, we'll be uploading more content regarding platform walkthroughs and industry updates. So whether you're a practitioner or someone new to the industry, there'll be something for you. So if this video has helped you, please help to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time.